trying to do less and more I'm still gonna be using two palettes which is more but I gotta start somewhere I'm just kind of extra typically so I'm gonna be using the Becca golden goddess palette and I'm gonna be using the warrior by Juvia's place this palette is just uh, filled with so many beautiful goals and then this one is just so freaking pretty like there's just so many beautiful tones in there, so I had to do it. I had to use both. Like some of these golds complemented each other and I had to layer them. I'm gonna prime my lids with this Urban Decay primer. So after that, I'm gonna take a little bit of Laura Mercier translucent powder and set these eyelids. So I'm gonna start with this Becca Volcano Goddess palette and I'm gonna go in with the shade Granite. And from there, I'm gonna put that and my crease as the starter for my crease shade. Just go back and forth in windshield wiper mode. Then I'm gonna pick up this Warrior Goddess. No, it's called the Warrior Palette, but I'm just fucking gonna call it the Warrior Goddess because it is. And I'm gonna dip into Kano and layer that on top of her hand. To warm that up because green is kind of a cool shade. I'm going to take volcanic sand right here. I'm gonna put that on my brow bone and just blend that up. I'm gonna go back in with my crease brush and blend that out. Then I'm gonna dip in Mino and create some depth in the outer corner. So I'm gonna take Ida, I think it's called. I'm gonna go in with my finger because I feel like with these pigments like this, they just go on so much better with your finger. I'm gonna apply that all over my lid. Ooh, do you see all of that golden goodness? Then I'm gonna dip back into this palette and I'm gonna go in with Gilded and again with my finger. I'm just kind of go over that and enhance it. Now for cleanup, I'm gonna go back into Mino and just blend the edges. So this is currently one of my favorite liners that I'm loving right now. This is the roller liner from Benefit and I'm just gonna create a simple little wing. So I got a little shadow underneath the eye. So I have some Sephora Meissler Cleaning Milk. I swear by this stuff, it's like a way of life. Not this particular one, it's just one I keep on my vanity, but to get your stuff off, put a little bit on a cotton situation and clean up underneath the eye. It looks like these wings are even, or like as even as they're going to be. So to continue, I'm going to dip into diamond dust right here. I'm going to put that in my tear ducts. Just for a little subtle golden glow there. I'm put my waterline. I'm going to take my Marc Jacobs eyeliner and this is in the shade Irony. Create that darkness. I am going to come back to the eyes. I probably should have did that later, but I already did it. Later. I'm going to come back. Currently, these are my holy grails. This is the Becca Backlight Priming Filter, which is Bay. I use her every single day. I even wear this sometimes without foundation, just so that my face has like a glow. And you guys know that purple is for brightening. So this is why this primer is purple. And why if you rub it in real good, it just gives you like a glowy, dewy, glowing from within effect. My favorite foundation right now is my Becca Skin Lug. These two are the dynamic duo and they look like everything. I am a little pale right now. So I'm gonna go in with 
this Becca Skin Lab and this Marc Jacobs Shameless. This is the shade Cafe and this is medium 390Y and I'm gonna mix them together to create my concoction. And I blend it out with my Morphe M439. I'm gonna bring it down my neck because I don't like lines. I always take a beauty blender when I'm done. Whatever is left of my hand, rub it on there and just buff it all in. So I loved the Too Faced Born This Way foundation, and this is gonna be my first time trying the Born This Way multi use sculpting concealer. This is in the shade Natural Beige, so I'm just gonna add that underneath the eyes. Currently, I use Shape Tape. This is already not as thick, that's okay. There's more in the bottle, so I guess that's maybe where makeup. Take my next wonder stick in the shade deep. my little contour brush, spray it with some Fix Plus, and blend out this brown. Take the other end and blend out this nose. And then take my beauty blender and just merge everything together with the foundation at the end. So now for the setting, the Old Faithful Laura Mercier. Never go wrong. Use my blender. Also, Dermablend has this illuminating banana powder. I'm gonna mix those two together and hope for the best. This is either gonna be like everything or a hot ass mess, but no matter what, I'm about to bang it out. Then to set my face, going in with my MAC Studio Fix Perfection Powder. And get that all over the face. And I'm also gonna brush off all that baking. All right, now after all that powder, to bring some warmth back into my face. I'm gonna take my Anastasia Beverly Hills bronzer, the color mahogany, which is like my summer shade. I'm lightly gonna use it because I can't find my bronzer that I like to use. And lightly go over it to bring some warmth back into this face. For my blush, this is an oldie but goodie. This is Makeup Geek Romance. I used to love this shade. Put this on the apples on my cheek. I always put that around my hairline too with my blush just to bring it in so it's like they're all blended together like the same. All right, so since I couldn't find what I was looking for, going back to Old Faithful, which is Anastasia Beverly Hills Golden Peach, I used to mix that with banana so that I wouldn't be too bright because I feel like I might be a little too bright. I go back to the contrary kid days. Um, so I'm gonna take the shade Havana and um, contour this nose. So I'm gonna take this if clean brush and just kind of blend this out. So it's not so harsh. I'm gonna take it back to some oldies but goodie. This is Anastasia So Hollywood. Sorry that I don't make it anymore, but it's still bomb and I haven't worn it in forever. For that glue. Give it like extra popping. Whatever is left. I'm just gonna circle it on my forehead. But 
I'm not done. Now another oldie but goodie is Artist Couture Illuminati. And this is a loose pigment. I'm gonna tap into that, tap it off. Cool. And then just hit that, just you know, make it pop. Then what I'm gonna do is take my beauty blender and just kind of press it in. And then, so this is Fix Plus, but I like it in a spray bottle rather than the way that it comes out. I'm just gonna drench my face. Let that highlight pop, let them powder soak in. So for underneath these eyes, I'm gonna go back in with this palette here and I'm gonna take Mino and put it underneath that brown. Tap off the excess. And then, so it's not so harsh, I'm gonna go back in with Kano and smoke that out to cut the harsh line. Cause I can't see it anymore, I'm gonna take Marimi and I'm gonna put this in my tear ducts and then I'm gonna top it with diamond dust. Okay, and so once I've, I'm full coverage like this, it covers up my natural molds right there. I am not opposed to bringing them back. So I'm gonna really quickly bring them back. So for my eyelashes, I'm going to be using the lower lashes and these are Wispy G on the Rocks. So lash here, um, really quickly, I'm gonna put on a coat of Tarte Man Eater on my top and bottom lashes. All right, so now that we got the lashes on, I'm gonna be a little bit extra. Like I know I said I was doing like not the most, but it's Valentine's Day. It only happens once a year. And every year you may have no Valentine's, so you know sometimes you gotta stun a little bit. This is a Tartise Pro glitter eyeliner. I'm gonna take a little bit of gold and just line on top of my other black liner just for some added glitz. For a little bit of extraness. So it's like you can still see the black, it's just a little bit of sparkle. It's gonna pull your eyes to these eyes. And lastly, I'm gonna finish off with red lipstick, but I'm going to line it with um, NYX brown liner. I do everything with a browner, like for me, brown liner, not a browner. For me, brown is life. You can also do this with a natural look, but it is Valentine's Day, so you know, you wanna have a little extra something. Um, and this blends it in, so it's just not so, so much. Should put on a little chapstick when using liquid lipstick, so not too much, I like to wipe it off. Just enough so I'm not dry and so everything can glide on. I'm slightly overlining. I don't know if I'm gonna regret it later, but I'm also blending in that brown so that when I put on this red, and this is like my favorite red, this is Stila Beso. This red is Bay, it's literally everything. I always take one of these at the end and just clean up. Whatever doesn't need to be there. And then to finish, I'm gonna set my face with this Ofra makeup fixer. All right, I'm gonna let that dry. So guys, this is the finished look. I hope you like it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed already, go ahead and subscribe. I hope you guys have a happy Valentine's Day. I love you guys so much and thank you for watching. Bye. Touch me.